Chapter 26 Moreover you shall make the tabernacle with ten curtains of fine woven linen, and blue, purple, and scarlet thread. With artistic designs of cherubim you shall weave them. The length of each curtain shall be twenty-eight cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits. And every one of the curtains shall have the same measurements. Five curtains shall be coupled to one another, and the other five curtains shall be coupled to one another. And you shall make loops of blue yarn on the edge of the curtain on the selvedge of one set, and likewise you shall do on the outer edge of the other curtain of the second set. Fifty loops you shall make in the one curtain, and fifty loops you shall make on the edge of the curtain that is on the end of the second set, that the loops may be clasped to one another. And you shall make fifty clasps of gold, and couple the curtains together with the clasps, so that it may be one tabernacle. You shall also make curtains of goat's hair, to be a tent over the tabernacle. You shall make eleven curtains. The length of each curtain shall be thirty cubits, and the width of each curtain four cubits. And the eleven curtains shall all have the same measurements. And you shall couple five curtains by themselves, and six curtains by themselves. And you shall double over the sixth curtain at the forefront of the tent. You shall make fifty loops on the edge of the curtain that is outermost in one set, and fifty loops on the edge of the curtain of the second set. And you shall make fifty bronze clasps, put the clasps into the loops, and couple the tent together, that it may be one. The remnant that remains of the curtains of the tent, the half-curtain that remains, shall hang over the back of the tabernacle, and a cubit on one side, and a cubit on the other side, of what remains of the length of the curtains of the tent, shall hang over the sides of the tabernacle, on this side and on that side, to cover it. You shall also make a covering of ram-skins, dyed red for the tent, and a covering of badger-skins above that. And for the tabernacle you shall make the boards of acacia wood standing upright. Ten cubits shall be the length of a board, and a cubit and a half shall be the width of each board. Two tenons shall be in each board for binding one to another. Thus you shall make for all the boards of the tabernacle. And you shall make the boards of the tabernacle twenty boards for the south side. You shall make forty sockets of silver under the twenty boards, two sockets under each of the boards for its two tenons. And for the second side of the tabernacle, the north side, there shall be twenty boards, and there forty sockets of silver, two sockets under each of the boards. For the far side of the tabernacle westward you shall make six boards, and you shall also make two boards for the two back corners of the tabernacle. They shall be coupled together at the bottom, and they shall be coupled together at the top by one ring. Thus it shall be for both of them, they shall be for the two corners." So there shall be eight boards with their sockets of silver, sixteen sockets, two sockets under each of the boards. And you shall make bars of acacia wood, five for the boards on one side of the tabernacle, five bars for the boards on the other side of the tabernacle, and five bars for the boards of the side of the tabernacle for the far side westward. The middle bar shall pass through the midst of the boards from end to end. You shall overlay the boards with gold. Make the rings of gold as holders for the bars, and overlay the bars with gold. And you shall raise up the tabernacle according to its pattern, which you were shown on the mountain. You shall make a veil woven of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen. It shall be woven with an artistic design of cherubim. You shall hang it upon the four pillars of acacia wood overlaid with gold. Their hooks shall be gold upon four sockets of silver and you shall hang the veil from the clasps. Then you shall bring the ark of the testimony in there, behind the veil. The veil shall be a divider for you between the holy place and the most holy. You shall put the mercy seat upon the ark of the testimony in the most holy. You shall set the table outside the veil, and the lamp stand across from the table on the side of the tabernacle toward the south. And you shall put the table on the north side." You shall make a screen for the door of the tabernacle, woven of blue, purple, and scarlet thread, and fine woven linen made by a weaver. And you shall make for the screen five pillars of acacia wood, and overlay them with gold. Their hooks shall be gold, and you shall cast five sockets of bronze for them. 